So you want to rank up in Apex Legends? Well, in this video, I got 10 tips to help you gain RP fast. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where I provide you all the tips, tricks, and guides to help you improve your gameplay in Apex Legends. I'm Warlugget. Today I'm going to drop 10 tips to help you gain RP fast in Apex Legends Season 5. Before we begin, guys, as a quick reminder, I do stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday over on Twitch. The link is going to be down in the description below. So if you guys have any questions about this video, feel free to join me and ask me over there. All right, guys, let's get into these tips. All right, tip number one is land in a good location. This should be one. This one should be pretty easy. Where do you like to land? Everyone has a location that they like to land at. But in ranked, you got to be a little more strategic. In the dropship, make sure to look around, see where players are landing, and then pick a familiar location where you know the loot is going to be good and no one is going there or maybe one other team. RNG is going to play a factor in this no matter what location you land at, but knowing where each spot has good, lo good loot will help your team out and put you in a good spot for the rest of the game. Tip number two, loadouts. In Apex Legend, everyone has a gun they like to shred with. And don't get me wrong, I do too. I love you, R99. But in ranked and higher level play, there is a meta of guns that people use. This includes the Broken Havoc, the R99, Wingman, Mastiff, and the G7 Scout. Oh, how I hate you, G7 Scout. And I'm not saying that you should use these guns, but these are definitely a part of the current meta, and you should try to set yourself up for the best loadout to gain RP. Now, th these guns are going to be what a lot of players are going to be using, so just know that going into ranked. Yes, tip number three is team fighting. Now, I will say this is one of the harder tips for players to understand because everyone wants to do what they want, and, every and everyone's like, oh, it's Call of Duty or something. Like, I'm just out here playing, you know. But in Apex, one of the best things is the team aspect, and team fighting correctly will not only gain you RP fast, but will make your TTK or time to kill very fast so you won't have to worry about third parties. But this one can be hard to do. You don't want to be holding hands moving around the map, but also don't want to get lost from your teammates. You guys want to be a good distance from each other so you're able to take each fight from different angles and win those fights. Tip number four is communication. And this is probably one of the hardest ones for players to understand. I made another video about this going in depth about comms and Apex Legends. Click the link above. Communication is vital in Apex. The game is so fast and everything happens in a blink of an eye, you should be communicating with your teammates. If you're not communicating, then you're going to have a difficult time in ranked. Now some of the players can be effective without saying a whole lot, but that's a rare thing. Talk to your teammates, do the proper callouts, everything from enemy position to the shields they have the legends that they're using everything call out the guns that you hear if you know the gun sounds call everything out calm with your teammates tell them where you are tell them if you're healing do everything that will help you win more fights and gain rp really fast tip number five legend combos now this one i know i'm gonna get a lot of hate at because of my tier list video i did for season five but just like the gun meta, there is a meta for top tier legends to use in Apex. In my opinion, the best legend combo out right now is Gibby, Wraith, and Watson. With that said, Gibby and Watson can both be subbed out for Pathfinder or Caustic or any combination of these five legends. But these five legends are the top ones to use in high level play in Apex Legends. Now. These legends aren't going to be suited for everybody, but I do suggest that using these legends at diamond ranked or higher will help you guys gain RP fast and move you into Masters or possibly Apex Predator. Platinum lobbies and below. Honestly, guys, you could probably play whoever that you want as the competition isn't really that tough and you can shred lobbies even using Mirage. All right, on to tip number six, guys, is positioning and rotations. This one's a tough concept to learn because a lot of people just like to go where they want to go or they don't know how to rotate properly. Okay, but positioning is everything in ranked play. Having the best spot in the game will set up your team for victory. But how do you do that? Rotating and rotating early will not only position your team better, but will help prevent those nasty third parties. And that leads me into tip number seven, which is the high ground. 
on top of rotating guys this one can be a hard concept based on where the map is or where the circle is going but make sure you have a pathfinder on your team and hit those beacons and that will help out narrow where the the zone is going to go so you guys can rotate early but while rotating maintaining high ground i cannot stress this enough on how important high ground is in apex legends having high ground will give you guys a clear look at the surrounding area and be able to beam down an enemy team for easy rp having the high ground prevents someone shooting from you above but also limits the third parties making it a safe bet to take shots at teams below you high ground is everything i cannot stress this again guys make sure to maintain high ground on every location that you can go to tip number eight is get a knock and then push okay this one's tough guys i know in public lobbies a lot of people just kind of leroy jenkins and just charge in you can do that but in ranked play when the competition gets harder and people have better gun skill you're gonna want to knock somebody first and then charge into ape for easy rp points okay one knockdown and you have a 3v2 advantage and your team can push into the fight and finishing them off to gain fast rp another reason this tip is so good for gaining rp is because it'll help you win your fights faster again that ttk i talked about earlier guys this will let you loot and get out of there without a threat of a third party. Tip number nine is third party party. One of the best and more effective ways to gain RP in Apex Legends is through third party. Honestly, I feel like Apex lives and dies on this tip. So pay attention to the surrounding area as you move through the map and look for chances to third party and pick off some players for easy RP. And when doing this, my advice, guys, is to do it from a distance because there's been too many times I've charged into third party just to have both teams split to heal or split off. And then your team is in the middle and both uh, enemy teams are shooting at you guys. And it seems like you can't do anything when it comes to third party. Take your time and third party from a distance. And if there's only a few legends left, feel free to go in and, you know, ape them for easy RP. But do it from a distance get some picks those points are going to come as you get further along in the game remember guys position is everything and that leads me on to tip number 10 guys the final tip is having a team this tip having a team will help you guys gain rp fast this tip is a tough one though because a lot of players don't have a set team to play with or have a team that just wants to play ranked a lot of players just want to have fun and solo queue in ranked is no fun at all honestly though you can probably solo queue all the way through platinum but once you hit diamond that's where the skill and team play separates on a very large scale you're going to need teammates who can communicate play good legends have good gun skill and have good chemistry with that's the only way to grind through diamond onto predator and sure you may get lucky and solo queue into masters with the luck of lobbies or randoms you get you know but those chances are so low that you're going to be gaining and losing rp at a high rate so i don't advise doing this the best way is if you're in a, if you are solo queuing and you come across a random who you think is good or you come across a random who you you feel like you have good chemistry with send them a friend request ask them to play again get on a schedule guys and grind together but you are going to need a team to gain rp to get through diamond i cannot stress this enough guys i've been apex predator every season but last season so having a team going through is going to help you get to the, where you want to go okay guys that's going to do it for today's video i hope these 10 tips have helped you guys out a lot again if you guys have any questions i do stream every friday saturday and sunday over on twitch the link is going to be down in the description below if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like. That does help out the channel a lot. Also, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Join the Warriors. Help me reach 1,000 subscribers. Okay? Turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on future Apex Legends guide videos. And for me, Warlock, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.